Hello, this is Furry Murray 7 and this is Dark Souls PvP, and I am actually using the same build that I'm using in my Beginner Mage Guide. Um, for those of you who <laughs> know about the guide, or don't know about it, uh, it's a, a, a twink guide. Uh, you can, you can just view it by clicking on the little button, and I have a link in the annotation below. This is just a few, um... Uh, over quick a quick overview on some of the tactics I use in PvP using this build. Um, now I you can see uh, sometimes uh, in regards to rings sometimes I wear the wolf ring. Um, I don't usually wear it. Sometimes I a lot, a lot of times I use the, uh, the the ring of steel protection. <clears throat> and it's kind of a very basic type of ring, but uh, the majority of people who do PvP use melee weapons instead of spells, and so it's best to prepare for something like that by giving myself a little bit more, a little bit of extra armor protection. Uh, I know it's kind of, kind of small, the amount of protection I get, but I, uh, still enjoy it. Now, uh, one of the, one of, uh, a good tactic that I uh, like to use, as you can see my spells, I cycled through my spells earlier, I have Great Soul Arrow, Great Combustion, um, uh, a, a, a big fire spell. Usually, uh, sometimes I do great heavy. Uh, sometimes I do great fireball, great chaos fireball, and sometimes I do fire storm in that particular slot. Uh, in the next slot, I have poison mist, and in the final slot, I have uh, the magic shield spell. Magic shield is an amazing spell, and I always try to use magic shield right at the start of the game because magic shield is amazing. It boosts all of your defense values and boosts your stamina. So. It's pretty amazing. And, um, no, not boost, boost the stability of the shield as well. So I found out this guy wanted to use ranged attacks. Sure, I can do a ranged battle. Haha, <laughs> that's fine. I wasn't really expecting a ranged battle. But whenever I do a, a, a fight a ranged battle, one of a really, a tactic that I really, really love using is Poison Mist. And as you can see, I move behind the Poison Mist and, uh, attack my opponent. Uh,. From behind there, and it's it's really cool because one of the things I love po about poison mist, um, it's I don't really use it for the poison actually. I'm 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 not really counting on poisoning and my enemy with it. The reason I like poison mist is because it creates a a visual barrier between you and your opponent, so that if you move if you place the mist between you and your opponent, your opponent can't see you at all. Opponent doesn't know what you're doing, doesn't know what weapons you're holding. Uh, I mean. I mean, the only thing they can see is the little circle if they're locked onto you, and that's it. And and I love doing that because uh, it it it, can, it it usually allows you to get in at least one or two hits with a soul arrow. Move behind the poison mist and then cast soul arrows from back there. Uh, you can usually uh, you really don't have to worry about your opponent storming through the poison mist to see what you're doing back there. Uh, <laughs> They're usually too afraid of it uh, because you know some uh, you know because when you cast it, some players won't really be able to tell whether it's poison mist or toxic mist. Toxic mist is a lot more dangerous than poison mist, but um, some players won't really be able to tell immediately. They're not sure if it's poison mist or toxic mist or something else, so they just avoid and stay away from it. And that gives you the opportunity to move behind there, and it gives you kind of a psychological advantage, really. <laughs> psychological warfare, because your opponent can't see you at all. It creates, it creates a, uh, a type of mysteriousness uh, so that your opponent doesn't know what you're doing. So I love, I love that attack. I love using Poison Mist. Also, another thing I sometimes like doing is not not very often, but sometimes I like to play around with the uh, crystal ring shield. It's, crystal ring shield is actually pretty cool because it actually, actually in long battles, it can help you uh, conserve your soul arrows because you can fire magic out of the shield, and so, and it also has a pretty high magic defense, which is another thing that you need because you have you're wearing you are wearing the crown of dusk, which lowers your overall magic defense by 20%, I believe, 30% actually, lowers your overall magic defense by 30%. So a savvy player, uh, as soon as they see you wearing the Crown of Dust, they're probably going to start uh, enchanting their sword with magic, like uh, with uh, Dark Moon Blade or, or uh, a Crystal Magic Weapon or something. Uh, a, a, a weapon with a good strong magical attack and try to attack you with that, since they know that you're vulnerable 
to magic. So a good way to compensate for that is to use is to wear armor that helps to uh, compensate for that lack of magic defense. And that's one, another reason why I like the witch set because it has pretty high magic defense, a little higher than the crimson uh, robes, and still gives you the mobility that you need without having to wear the uh, without having to put points in endurance and wear the <laughs> wear the havel ring or uh, whatever. Um, I suppose I, I could put points in endurance, but the thing is that this character is a twink. I'm trying to keep it as low as possible, so I have it at level nine. Um, actually, in my uh, in my beginner mage video, that character I level up to level eleven, so this character is even more hardcore. And pretty soon, I, I may even do a character that's just level level one. That's possible. I mean, that's doable as well. It is going to be a little bit more difficult because you know you only have three attunement slots, but. Uh, I mean, it's doable, but, um, uh, so here we are entering the, the second match. And it's a two versus one. <laughs> I really don't, I really don't care about two versus ones. Usually I'm able to hold my own fairly well. Um, um, yeah, I don't know what that guy's problem was. Just just started running up and attacking me. Um, you know, usually you don't just want to run into the area without you know planning you know, first. You know, I was actually going to. For those of you wondering, you know, if I was going to stay up there forever, no, I was going to come down eventually. Maybe. I mean, it is a two versus one, so it is pretty lopsided. So I guess I probably nobody would probably fault me. For staying up the stairs uh, the entire time, but uh, <laughs> otherwise, I would have come down there. And uh, I mean, you can see that I cast a uh, magic shield. I mean, maybe he's a noob and he doesn't know what magic shield is. But you know, magic shield spell combined with a uh, plus ten head heater shield. I mean, you can pretty much you know do whatever you want. I mean, <laughs> whatever attack you want, I'll take almost no damage and. Uh, I will my 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 green stamina bar is not going to deplete very much at all if any. For those of you wondering how I managed to acquire so many uh, uh hum so much humanity and um <coughs> uh, I was going to do a video on this earlier when I had like 2 million experience but I spent them all on on uh, Titanites, but um, I, I can actually post a video on how to um, think about uh, humanity. Uh, one is the rats in the depths. Depths rats, best place to farm for humanity. And if you don't know how to do that, I can certainly make a video on it. That that won't be a problem. I've been planning on make a video with that anyway. But um, ninety nine humanity, uh, uh, you know. Most of the most of the pro players will tell you that 99 humanity is not really you know that 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 difficult to get. I mean, it it seems like a lot, but you know if you're doing PvP all the time and winning, you know, fairly often, even if you don't win all of your fights, I mean, you can still get quite a bit of of humanity in 99. 99 is the best if you plan on doing PvP because uh, it gives you the more humanity that ha you have, the more defense you have. Each point of humanity gives you a little bit of defense values. Now, for this fight, this fight, I mean, was a little crazy because I f saw that he was already in the middle of a battle. He was fighting some. Uh, he was already in, uh, in the middle of a fight between some of the forest dwellers, and he comes and attacks me for some reason. I mean, I'm trying to give him a break. I mean, <laughs> I'm. Tr I mean, I'm trying to give him a break. I mean, I'm. I'm really not interested in attacking him if he's also trying to fight the forest hunters because there's, there's really not much of a fight. I mean, uh, you know, I'm not really a stickler on uh, if people don't do fair fights against me. Like I like I invade somebody and it ends up being a two versus one or three versus one. I uh, I invade somebody and they use Estus. You know, I'm not I'm not really big on that, but I really do. I'm, I'm really not interested in. Uh, uh, Fighting them if I have like some sort of major advantage, like they're already in a fight with NPCs. 
you know, something like that. You know, I, I try to give them a break at least. I mean, I, <laughs> I try to stand far enough back and try to not look <laughs> look so scary, so that um, they can finish their fight and then we can actually have a duel. Um, because I'm not really into the, I'm not really doing the duels for the experience or the humanity. I already have max ex humanity, and I really don't need the experience. Uh, I'm just doing it just for, you know, just for, just to test my skills, and that's just just it. So, and it's really not a test of skill if I go around uh, picking fights with people who are already oppressed by the NPC forest dwellers. And uh, those guys are tough. I mean, they're not. I mean, they're not that tough. I mean, the in the forest dwellers are actually kind of easy if you know what you're doing. I can actually make a video on how to farm, and how to very quickly farm the forest dwellers for experience points. Uh, just at level nine, eleven. I mean, it's it's pretty easy if you follow my build. Just using the build from my beginner mage guide, I can do that. So this is the, will be the final fight that I show in my in my video, and um, and I, I will definitely upload some more PvP videos in the future. I will definitely do that, but um, um, this will be the last one for today. But um. So we got, um, I can't actually remember what happened here. This is not live commentary, this is me just, uh, talking after the fact, after I showed everything. I still didn't actually get to, to talk in depth about all the tactics that I use in PvP, so I'll definitely be, be using a lot more of that. So... First thing I like to do is magic shield. I would have done magic shield earlier if I knew that he was going to attack me right there and just run straight for me. But um, I, I didn't. I didn't realize he was gonna. He was gonna come at me that fast. That's why I, I had to wait for magic shield. But um, anyway, <clears throat> that's the video. Thank you very much. Please um, um, like and subscribe. If you liked the video, if you didn't like the video, if you have some comments, please leave a comment at the bottom and I try to respond as much as I can to reply to every comment. So, thank you very much and uh, please like and subscribe.